My name is Joe Slicer with the Marine City Area Fire Authority, I'm Fire Chief. Um, giving a little tour today of uh, the station and the trucks for uh, Cotterville Township and talk a little bit about the uh, upcoming millage um, vote. Um, but this is our training tower. Uh, it's a three-story training tower, um, stairs on the outside, then they go up into the inside. What we can do with this is we can do search and rescues, um, we can do uh, hoisting through a hole. We have a hole in the middle of the floor to uh, simulate um, somebody being trapped in a manhole or a confined space. We can smoke up each floor individually um, and then the walls that are inside there we can we can uh, move them around so there's a different uh, um, maze every time that we go in so we don't um, get used to the same maze. Um, we can set one floor up as a bedroom, one as a living room, one as uh, a basement if you had to. And uh, This was built um, I'm going to say roughly about 15 years ago. The firefighters built it themselves um, with a uh, just uh, donating their time and the, uh, the, the city actually um, paid for the material and everything prior to the fire authority taking effect. And this is uh, all the firefighters gear. Um, they keep uh, here, if, they're, if they don't keep it in their vehicles, they'll, um, they'll line it up here, come in when there's a call, put on whatever necessary gear they need wow. to uh, go to that call. And uh, this sits up here after they're done cleaning and it can dry sitting here or can dry in the other room. Um, like I said, there's 21 uh, firefighters. Um, and we run just over roughly around 800 calls a year. The millage is important for the fire department. Um, one, to keep our, one, to keep our budget where it's at. Um, I don't intend to have the budget go any higher. I would like to keep it about the same. Um, just the equipment that we need. Um, this truck is a 1999. It will need to be replaced within um, two years. Um, this is because it's our main truck out. It affects everybody's home insurance. Um, their ISO rating um, for the township is a, is a six now, and the way the insurance um, the way the insurance company rates that is your first due truck has to be less than 20 years old. Um, so this truck is coming up on 20 years old, and we'll be looking to replace it. And to replace it, we're looking probably about 500 and some thousand dollars. This is our uh, water one. Um, this truck carries um, 3,000 gallons of water. What it's designed to do is, this truck is designed for a township that doesn't have no fire hydrants. Um, basically, it's designed for Cotterville Township and China Township. What we do with this truck is, when our engine one parks in the driveway, this truck backs up to it, puts a big dump tank out behind the engine. It will dump all of its water, 3,000 gallons of water, this truck will leave the scene and go look for a fire hydrant, a swimming pool, a river, wherever they got to go to fill up. Around four years ago for $216,000, um, the authority purchased it, um, designed for any townships that didn't have any residents that didn't have uh, hydrants. For us to use this in the city is probably slim to very few of the only things that we're going to use it for is if we have a frozen hydrant or bad hydrant. It's designed pretty much for country. Uh, this is our fire boat. Um, we purchased it right around uh, 10 years ago, maybe maybe nine years ago. Um, how this uh, came about was we had a little fishing boat pretty much, uh, right around a 15, 16 foot aluminum. And with the water that we cover, um, we, we average probably five calls a year on the water. Plus we do mutual aid with uh, the city of Port Huron. Clay Township, Algonac, um, for their uh, their festivities that they have on the water. They would need uh, several million dollars to start their own fire department. Um, like I said, one of these trucks, um, just the engine is 500 and some thousand alone. That's that is a plain Jane truck. It's not uh, no fancy stuff on it. Plus, you're looking at having to have a tank because you don't have some of the areas doesn't have fire hydrants. They would need at least one tanker, and then all your medical supplies, and your manpower. <laughs> your manpower is going to be your, your hardest, um, just because of the volunteer. It's so hard to get them now. Uh, their safety, I know their insurance rate would go skyrocket, <laughs> because they wouldn't have any uh, um, fire department. 